pro-lifers have taken to the streets of Dublin to urge the country to vote no in the upcoming referendum on abortion. Organisers estimate that Rally for Life attracted 90,000 supporters. The Save the Eighth campaign, who led the rally, said it was overwhelmed by the attendance, one of the largest pro-life marches ever held in the country. Spokeswoman for the campaign, Neve Avrian, told the Christian Institute that Ireland is at a defining point in its history. So this was really a momentous day, an historical day really, to see up to 100,000 people come out on a march to save the Eighth Amendment. It was absolutely incredible. And when you consider the context in which the rally took place as well, it was even more impressive because most people in this country are listening to the media establishment, to the political establishment, and really to the elites in the country who are constantly telling us we have to repeal the Eighth Amendment. So last Saturday, when you saw up to 100,000 people come out on that march, it was really like a rebellion of the people, if you like, against the elite on this issue. And our challenge now is to take all of that energy and momentum that we saw in the rally and to make sure that it's channeled into the next nine weeks of campaigning as we go door to door, talk to ordinary people, change hearts and minds to save the Eighth Amendment. The Irish Constitution's Eighth Amendment pledges to defend and vindicate the equal right to life of the unborn and the mother as far as practicable. A referendum on whether to repeal the amendment is set to take place at the end of May.